We've been hearing more and more talk about a handheld Xbox. This is an interview that Polygon had done with Phil Spencer where they talk about it. Handheld Xbox, Microsoft's gaming chief can't stop thinking about it. Handheld Xbox could be hardware, an app, or both. I'll link this in the description box and read it for yourself because I'm going to kind of gloss over some of this stuff. But it talks about how Phil has tried all the Ally, the Legion Go, the Steam Deck, and he's impressed, but he can't shake one question. How would he make them more Xbox? And he says, are all my games there? Do all my games show up with the save files that I want? I'll tell you one game that doesn't have it right now. It's driving me crazy. It's Fallout 76. It doesn't have cross save. He wants to put a boot into the Xbox app and a full screen, but in a compact mode. You know, he wants it to be just like the, the dashboard of the Xbox is when he turns on his television. He talks about that they're they're considering different hardware form factors and things that could go into it because it plans the future of Xbox hardware. So basically hinting at a handheld Xbox and some of the, the cool things that could come with Like there's a, a ton of really, really cool things that could come along with that. Because, I mean, I, I really like, you know, my Steam Deck, the Ally, the Legion, all those things are really cool. So it's also cool, you know, what, what makes them really cool to me is that you can hook them up to the TV as well or play them on the go. Now, of course, there are some drawbacks. One drawback is it's, it has to be digital only. You can't have, unless you decide to go with Nintendo and have a, a you know cartridge-based system or whatever, which they're not going to do. Like, there's no reason for Xbox to do that. So it's going to be a digital only system. And then that kind of, you know, I understand some people, they look at digital as that's eh, no big deal. Or it's the, it's the price of, of, of doing business in the current day or however you want to look at it, you know, whatever little expression. But for people like me, maybe it's because I'm a little bit older and stuff. I grew up with physical media. I, I, I lament the loss of physical media essentially, because to me, it's, it's lamenting the loss of actually owning the game. Because when you when you're digital only, or every or everything you buy digitally, you don't technically own it unless you actually have an MP4 file for a movie or something like of that nature or whatever. You don't actually own the game. You don't actually own the movie. You're in essence renting it uh, eternally or however you want to look at it. But they can revoke that right at any point in time for anything. Now some people would say, well, you know. Just don't do anything to get banned. But we hear stories all the time about people getting banned. Now, some of them are just complete garbage. and They're just not true. But then there's other people who get banned because of mistakes. You know, whether it's, you know, actually game related or whether it's because, well, you know, your username is wrong or, or they just get falsely accused by somebody and get banned. Then they try, you know, by, by like the AI or whatever of the whoever the, the company is and then they try to talk to people and they just can't get a hold of anybody because a lot of these companies they don't want to they don't they don't want to have a big staff of customer support teams they want to use as many chat bots as they possibly can anyway in my personal opinion like i, th I think all this stuff is cool like an xbox handheld looks and sounds like i'm from the mock-ups and stuff sounds really cool i think there's a lot of potential there I would be all for it. I don't know if Microsoft's going to go that route or not. I think they will, just to kind of give it a try. We always hear rumors, too, about, well, Sony's going to get back into the handheld game. That I'm, I'm less likely to believe. because I, I think Microsoft's long game, what they want to do here is they, they want to become like a huge software manufacturer. And they're using the hardware side of it to kind of like just cram their way in there. You know, because the, the real money's in software. You can make money on hardware and stuff, but it also costs a lot of money. Now, of course, Microsoft has the money, and then some, that they can basically keep doing this over and over again. But you know, the Xbox Series consoles, they're they're not gonna they're not gonna surpass the PlayStation Five. It's just not gonna happen. Which is why kind of what they're wanting. You know, is it is it going to happen with the PS6 or something? Probably not. At least I wouldn't imagine. I mean, it's hard to say for sure because you know, but because you never want to say anything's a hundred percent definitive, but it's just unlikely. Now, I would root for the, them to flip flop, winning, quote unquote. You know, every generation because I I like competition. I want a competition to be as strong as possible. But anyway, and you know, back to the article after I've basically uh pontificated for way too long probably <laughs> but anyway but as phil says here you know i like the fact that valve lenovo and asus 
that's the, the makers of those handheld systems, went out and innovated in a new form factor. And I will say that when I'm playing on these devices, it's almost felt more like a console than a PC. Nine times out of ten. The things that usually frustrate me are more Windows-based than device-based, which is an area I feel some ownership of. Like, I want to be able to log in with a controller. We've got my list of things we should go do. You know, he's, he's been in the talks about how he spent his tenure at Xbox or, or Microsoft pushing Xbox to be both a console and a software experience. And I, and I see some speculation from people saying that maybe they could create like a Windows OS that could be downloaded to the Ally or the Go or the, the Steam Deck or, or things of that nature and used in that in that way. That'd be really cool. I mean, you know, we'll, we'll see because the whole thing about with the Game Pass and stuff. And, of course, there's ways to get Game Pass on these other systems and so on and such. You know, it's it's not super complicated, in my opinion. I mean, to some people, it might be. It depends on, on your level of, like, technical skill. I don't, I don't really think it takes a lot of, like, computer know-how to really do that, to be honest. But, I mean, at the same time, I don't, I don't want to, you know, make judgments for other people or whatever. I think it's basically the end of the article right here, by the way. But um, which I like I said, I'll link this in the description box if you want to read it for yourself. There's this is part of a larger interview that Polygon did with him that I think that this is the more interesting part about the Xbox handheld because there's the usual stuff where they talk about all the development teams they got because they've got so many development teams it's crazy. There needs to be like huge titles coming out of these companies on a consistent basis moving forward if Xbox wants to kind of take the console crown or however you want to look at it or whatever. Anyway, I'm probably going to go ahead and wrap this video up here because I'm, I'm starting to ramble a little bit. Try not to do that. Try to keep these videos as short as possible. But I, I'm in, really interested in the idea of an Xbox handheld. I think that's really cool. Will we see it? I think, my my to be honest, my my initial thought is yes, we will see it, that they will go into an X, to a handheld, an Xbox handheld. But I wouldn't be surprised if they decide it's not worth it. I think it'd be kind of cool if they did, just because I know that they would be willing to spend the money to do it the right way, so to speak, quote unquote, the right way. And we'll see what happens. But anyway, thank you very much for watching and have